not over. So, ups and downs with the paint job. Um, I did my standard, you know, white, uh, white undercoat, and then I color a few of the bricks here and there, and then I do a black wash, and then maybe a, a dry brush over it. But when I did the, the when I did the wash, it really didn't come out the way I wanted it to, and so I started adding more colors, and then it just became more and more muddled. Um, I'm going to show you where I should have stopped on this one, and then I'm going to move on to the other tower, because I wasn't really happy with where it ended up after I finished. So, let's just get into it and take a look. So first things first, I really wanted to make crenellations to kind of break up the blandness of the top of the tower, but I wanted it to be safe for the players, so I used uh, pencil erasers on popsicle sticks. And you're going to notice right away I have an issue. Um, when you use super glue and accelerant, uh, for some reason the accelerant causes the erasers to explode, so be aware of that when you do it. It is an easy fix though. Uh, you just want to glue the popsicle sticks on first and then fill up the erasers with a little bit of wood glue and then add those on right after. I appreciate everybody who checks out my videos. Um, if you'd like to support me and help me grow my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd slam that like button. And as always, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. Now this was a bit of a tedious process, um, but I think the results in the end speak for themselves. It was totally worth whatever effort I put in. I got maximum effect out of it, so totally worth it to do. All right, so while I finish gluing those together, let me just say um, there is another video coming out on the painting of the Black Tower, which I really, really love the way that came out. And uh, both of these towers and another piece are um, they actually go together. Uh, one tower is for the players to roll on, one for the DM to roll on, and then there's a DM screen that I'm building also. So stay tuned for those other builds. They are coming right up as well as the painting of the Black Tower. Okay, now with the crenellations finished on the top, everything sturdied up, it's time to hit this beast with a healthy dose of the Black Magic Craft Mod Podge. It always surprises me when I watch this part just how good the texturing on this tower is. I mean, just with a hit of the Black uh, Magic Craft Mod Podge, it, it just it just pops. I mean, just the the skins are amazing with detail. Amazing. Just look at the difference between the skin on the tower and the foam board. I mean, the detail, just it's not even comparable. All right, now after I finished up with the Mod Podge, um, I did a base coat, one of them in white and one of the towers in black. Now for the white tower, I wanted to hit it with some neutral colors, um, not make it stand out too awful much. So I chose a slate gray and like a, a neutral tan. Now for this stage when I add the paint, um, I don't really have a specific pattern that I follow. I just kind of throw it out there randomly and try and space them a little evenly apart. So while I was doing the patches of paint here and, and touching up, um, I thought I'd talk about some of the future projects that I have going. Um, I know I have the Tomb of Horror build that I'm getting ready to do with the dollar store uh, foam tiles that I built. Um, you'll want to check that one out. I'm pretty sure I can get that whole dungeon with 
two dollars worth of material um, in addition to that I've got the painting of the black tower and then I have the dungeon master screen that goes with this set um, and I also have another thing that I really have wanted to show you guys I'm just falling behind on the editing um, but I have some really great water effects that I've been working on and I can't wait to show you so I got a lot of videos coming up um, if you want to hit that uh, if you want to hit that subscribe and click notification so you don't miss them, they're going to be awesome. All right, so at this point, we're starting to look really good. I really like the look of it. I'm just gonna finish up the crenellations after I do a few more spots, and this thing is gonna be wrapped up. And this is where I should have stopped. Now, I'm gonna add a couple of beauty shots at the end, and uh, for anybody who wants to watch the, the painting of the Black Tower, you will actually get to see the Black Tower uh, completed in the beauty shots along with the White Tower here at the end of this video. This thing looks so good. I should have just hit it with a, a light brown wash, but I hit it with a heavy black and it really muddled it up a bit. Um, but I, I just love the look of it. I'm gonna make another one and leave it exactly like this one right at this stage, except I'll probably color the uh, crenellations up on top. You know, I really, really, really enjoyed this build. I mean, from start to finish, I learned a whole lot. Um, I, I was excited going into it and I was not let down. I am absolutely amazed and, and I can't say enough good things about these skins. Um, I am going to use more of them for sure. They just have so much more detail than any of the things that I've made with the foam board by itself. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to make, you know, many, many more things. I think I'm going to make a back stock of these different skins. Um, and keep them in between wax paper and have a backstock so I can just use them on the ready because they do take a little while to uh, to dry before you can use them so it is something you need to do in advance anyway so I hope you like my video I really do uh, I've enjoyed making it for you guys I'll see you next time <laughs>